G'day guys, so we were at Can River for the last two nights, um, awesome spot for free camping in uh, Victoria. Free? It's free, yeah. So Good they've river got swims. Amen amenities. Um, Men and enemies. they got heaps of amenities. And enemies. Uh, yeah. yeah, we like it. And we've just driven across our next state border. Dun, 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 dun. So we're now in New South Wales. Yeah. So we've um, just stopped at Bombalala. Bombala. Yeah. Um, but we're too early to check in where we're, we're staying. We're across the river is where we're staying. So. So we're just going for a walk. Yeah. Take we'll a leaf out. out for a bit of a run. Yeah. and we found the local date spot. Nice view. <laughs> Good job! Who's the king of the jungle? <laughs> the collie looking the goods over there too. Yeah, sneaky little man sticking out. Safety barrier to stop you from falling here. <laughs> Reef, anything, any suggestions, mate? I don't know. Try the pie. Try the pussy. Dogs are a layout. There's other people here. I've got a neutral. Welcome to Platypus Reserve. Okay, guys, we're just down, down here at a Platypus Reserve section of the river which is why we're being quiet because we're yeah. on the hunt to spot some platypus yeah just bring the tank down <laughs> anyway um they have platforms that you can view down to the river yeah, that's what we're on now and we've got this whole place to ourselves, so we've jagged it and you can bring dogs here so as long as they're not chasing the wildlife and you keep an eye on them obviously yeah um but yeah, it gives us an opportunity to go explore something together that normally we can't do, like a national park and things like that. So that's really awesome. Yeah. But we've seen some bubbles. Yeah, quite a lot of bubbles activity. Two platypuses, pl yeah. platypuses, platypus eye. Yeah. <laughs> two of them. <laughs> seen two of them pop their heads up. It's, yeah. You know, you're talking about maybe 20 metres away, so it's hard to sort of see on yeah. the camera. And they look small, so I don't know how big they normally get, but it's hard to zoom in. But we'll try and get some better footage once one comes up. Yeah. But super peaceful little place. I just see something. Oh yeah. 
moving in there. You gotta be oh. quick, see? Go in and out. You just gotta talk very soft as well. <laughs> but yeah, we got this place to ourselves, and it is so magical. Look at that. And apparently, they can only hold their breath for 14 minutes. So if you're patient and you wait 15 minutes, you should be able to see one pop up. Yeah. But so, they're so quick, they just like duck dive straight down again. Yeah, yeah they're hungry guys. So they're straight up and down, get that food. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then you'll hear some sheep, which ruins the serenity. But uh, Or Adam doing the fluff. Oh. <laughs> we'll cut that out. Well, they come out in the evenings. Like dusk and dawn is yeah. the time they normally come out. Start feeding basically, just because a lot of predators during the day, so they're trying to hide in their burrows. But yeah, we've seen a few splashes just here. we're on the hunt. Yeah, we haven't given up yet. We want to try and get closer. So there's a canoe launch section further up. So we're headed there. Yeah, try that just to see if we can get a little bit closer to the river and hopefully we can see something. So it's a bit wet. Wow. We've just slipped to the slide, sliding around. Um, a little clay and water. So we're out of here. Um, it was getting a bit full on to be going in the wet weather. Too slippy. So, but if it's a dry day, come on down. Um, we were trying to go down the canoe side, so try that. Otherwise, it's just the easy two wheel drive platform. Worth a shot. That's crazy how much that spot. <laughs> Luckily, we all have seatbelts and reef. You all right, mate? Couldn't be phased. No, yeah, he's all good. That sunset for the first day in New South Wales. Yeah, baby. Seen some platypus. Platypus eye? We saw a couple of them. Saw a few. And we had a lovely walk down by the river.
How do you feel? Oh, I'm glad I was going down that mountain because that was pretty sketchy. Brakes are glowing. Yeah. We can smell the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> they were working hard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there was hardly any traffic so that was good. So didn't have to worry about annoying anyone for me going slow down that uh, mountain. But yeah, just super glad that I was going down it, not up, because that would have sucked. Still hot? Yeah, fine. It's cars and we're working overtime. I might have to move my dial next time we yeah. head down a mountain. To just that, tow for everything. Hopefully we're not up and down mountains a lot. Just enjoy the view. <laughs> All I saw was tarmacs and bends. <laughs> Huge signs saying slow down, use low gears. Oh dear, we made it. That's it. So I'll, I'll look through the footage and uh, enjoy the views from the mountain then. Yeah. <laughs> After going down that mountain, now I need a rest. This is the day this song was playing in New Zealand. Okay. See if you can remember that. I can. This was on the boat at Milford Sound. Oh, that was a sketchy drive. Mm. First time I've uh, driven on black ice, sliding down the road. Yeah. And then had the guy in front of me sliding back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Off a cliff. We were ready to die. Yeah. So we were basically stopped at a tunnel that we had to go down. And, um, green light to go through the tunnel everyone starts going and the guy in front of me just starts sliding backwards towards us so I've tried to go around him and I'm just sliding as well oh, I'm sketchy very scary but no one crashed yep that we know of <laughs> black ice yeah we did So seeing that the rain was coming, we thought it was the perfect time to set up the annex for the first time since buying the caravan. We got it all sorted with a fair bit of MacGyvering for the parts that were missing. Wish us luck that this stands the whole time we're here. Thank you to the previous owners of our van for stealing the pegs. And the... And poles and whatever yeah, else. That we know. That we have to replace all the time. All right. A rookie mistake we made buying our first caravan used was that we didn't actually check all the components needed for the accessories in the tunnel boot like this annex were there. Um, unfortunately we just took the salesman for their word which is a bit silly but hey that's what you deal with. Check this out, it's a thong pole or a flip-flop pole, however you want to say it. Hey guys, it's a wet and miserable day. We've come down to Tathra, so we're in the Bega Valley still, and this is Chamberlain Lookout. So pretty cool, pretty much up there with what you see along the Great Ocean Road, in my opinion. But yeah, obviously a lot quieter. So there's a little creek that flows into the bay. It was a super calm day and it's a shame that the sun wasn't out as it would have been a great spot for a quick dip. For those of you playing at home, the annex survived the whole time with no dramas thanks to the MacGyvering skills of Adam. We might look into buying the parts needed for the full kit or perhaps just go with the privacy shade for next time. We'll see how much we need it. It was cool having kangaroos jumping through the caravan park. Reef was ready to go so we had to make sure he was tied up of course.
we're just wandering around in Cabago, which is a real artsy town. Um, we're on our way to our next spot in Naruma along the southwest coast of New South Wales. So I love this town so much, I've uh, found ourselves a little fixer-upper. Oh yeah, where's that? Just across the road there. It's got the chimney I guess. <laughs> nice and warm during winter. <laughs> Same, same, but Naruma is a beautiful coastal community surrounded by ocean, lakes and rivers. After checking out Mill Manny Lookout, we then settled into our caravan park side and took a short walk with Reef. Oh wow! Even though it was cloudy and overcast by the afternoon, we could still see all the way out to Montague Island. Stingray cruising along. Jeez. How cool is that? Oh, you see me. Look at that. Camouflage. It's insane. I might have picked that if it wasn't moving. through a bush track behind a cemetery at Naruma. Um, we're going to try and make our way down to Glasshouse Rocks and have a look. So don't follow Google Maps, go by the Wikicam directions. When you get to a tree that looks like you can climb it, you go left down to the beach or you keep going ahead and it will lead you to like a little lookout spot from the top of the cliff instead.
We had this beach basically to ourselves and I could have easily watched the ocean for hours. It was an interesting rock formation, just a small walk up the beach. We love this place as you can bring your fur babies. How beautiful is this outlook right in the middle of town? The Mill Bay Boardwalk is 700 metres long, which is the perfect amount for a casual stroll past mangroves and the jetty. You can head to the main surf beach or cafes. We spotted so many stingrays here. They were competing with seals and seagulls as local fishermen would clean their catch of the day at the boat ramp. We'll see you next time when we're exploring around and about. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>